one at the front. Pep, five, five defeats in a row, as I'm sure you know. Um, one, can you explain it? Two, have you got any answers how you pull your team out of this slump? Well, when you lose good evening, uh, good night, or good evening, when you lose zero four, it's not nothing to say. It's congratulate uh, uh, Tottenham. Um, we struggle a little bit to be uh, to get back the balls in these uncertain balls. We are not able to win it to give an extra action afterwards. But um, I think in, the, in terms of balls, we were quite decent. We create a lot. I would say with Tottenham is no use much, and we create chances a lot in front of the keeper. We are a bit fragile right now. That is an obvious for the fact that uh, we struggle today to score goals. And after when they arrive, they, they score. And after we we are playing a little bit in our thoughts, that a little bit in negativity, but it's normal. So football is a, a sense of mood. And when you win a lot, then discontinuity doesn't give us Gil self aware that you can do it, and when you lose three games in a row in the Premier League, and that situation is always a little bit, a little bit there. But many things are going to happen. We have to break the results as much as possible because the victories help us a lot to be more positive and more confident, and we have to do it. But at the same time, so after eight years here, I knew in the last one or two, three years that sooner or later we will drop. Of course, never expect to win, to lose three Premier Leagues in a row. But uh, in that times, always we expect to drop it, but we are in trouble consistent again and again and again. And now we cannot deny that the reality that sometimes in football, sometimes in life is here. So we are not used to lose so many games in a row. That's happened. That doesn't mean it's going to change. We have to do everything to change, and especially the next one. But yeah, the exceptionality of living eight years is not eternal. So sometimes happens. Sometimes you drop a little bit. It's happened right now. But in terms of way, we play really good in the first minutes and after the first chance they have 30 minutes we can see the goal and the chances were there were there were there but after you know when they arrive we can see of course the transition from sports the physicality is really strong we know it that's why we thought to bring a game for the physical condition that we have for many players with a lot of midfield players long control a lot of control we cannot make up and downs because they are stronger than us we want to control the game at the end is I would say is what we have done many, many years here. It's my way that I like the way to play. But now you had that period. We cannot run away. You had to face it and try to break the next game. Pep, I'm surprised you used the word fragile because you couldn't have achieved what you've achieved if the players did not have a lot of resilience. Why? Why are they fragile? No, the fragile. The fact that they have a little, little, little situations that. Uh, we are not uh, strong enough due to the injuries that we had. That is the reason why. So John feel good, but 45 minutes has to leave. And I give credit to Tottenham. Fajal, we were a team like always were consistent. We concede few chances. And now lately we concede more than usual. And our game was a lot, a lot of the control because it's not a team created to make a box to box 40 times in a game. We are not based for that. We are not good on that. But always we're a team like concede few. And sometimes we lose games, but I said, man, I could sit one or two times, but now we could sit more. It's for many reasons. I would like to tell you it's just one reason. There are many, few details for all the season that uh, it's happened and you have to fix it. And with the time, the players will come back better, 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 and we will do it. Pep, um, you say you didn't expect this to go on forever. Um, do you think this current group of players has what it takes to reach those heights again, to be champions again, to be champions this season? I would say when you lose three Premier Leagues in a row, is the l the most I would say wrong thing to say is we're going to be champion. I know that guys. I know they'll be back. If you expect for that situation, what they have done to all of us, me first and the other one, I'm going to doubt about them. It's because something wrong about me. So I'm there. More than I'm sorry. Maybe I will not be used to do it. Maybe I will not be good enough to get back in that situation. And after we will. We will see, but I've been football player for my career and now there, so of course it's exceptional what we have done in the past, but three, lose three Premier Leagues in a row with the situations that we happen with the team can happen. So it happened to me as a football player in Barcelona. I think I lose a well three Premier Leagues, uh, three games in a Liga, so it's happened. So now it's everything is, mm. is a little bit against, you know, because 
when you feel confident and the other one and the, those are good, it, it happened. But now it's the opposite. And that's why I had to break it in, in uh, quick and accept it. The best way to, to go through in that position, accept the reality. So we were never able to lose so many games in a row and now happen because something had to fix it. It's not to say, no, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's me, that, the other one, or maybe the, the weather, or maybe, I don't know, the grass, or it's not about that. So at the same time, when I said how difficult it is have done, now you realize how difficult it was. But the reality is here. We have to do it. Guys, we have to break, start to win games. I don't know when. Maybe tomorrow has one because the people say, no, no, you cannot be worse. Yeah, you can be worse. You cannot get worse. Yeah, yeah, it can happen. I, I don't know. But at the same time, when you said to me, no, when you win... Pfft, 10 or 11 or 12 or 13 games in a row to win, and you are going to win before the game. I don't know. So that's why I don't know what happened. So now it's relaxed, recover, not relaxed, because of course, always when, when you lose games, it's worse. But on Tuesday, you have to be here again. So, and hopefully, we, we are going to change the dynamic. Hi, Pat. How would you describe the players' mood after this defeat? I mean, they're such brilliant players. Are they confused? Are they angry, sort of, in a sort of positive way? Or, you know, how would you For the way they play, they're angry, but sometimes the opponent is good, sometimes we are not good enough in some departments, sometimes it happens. So, I think I think I was, I was in, in our success, I was so, so clever enough to say that the, what we do, or what the players do, it's always is ABC, it's going to happen. I know from my experience, you and sometimes it happens, oh, why were we able to win a lot of games, a lot of Premier Leagues? So when the other ones are good too, what would happen? And sometimes you have a bad moment. So, and it, I, I would say that the mistake is would see think too much of what this is an analysis. All the managers try to analyze what happened. There'll be a mistake. And the other mistake, if in eight years going in that way, change a lot will be a huge mistake. Because it works because we didn't change much. I would say not clever enough after win four in a row, the Premier Leagues and the Champions League and being there all the time then, now I'm going to change because I want to change for one or two defeat. You have to go to the simple things, to go to our patterns that we know, that I think we believe completely and and and, and yeah, step by step the players will be will be back and and try to yeah, get back to the to, to winning games. And at the end it's not happened that okay, it is not happened. But what, what can we do? But the only thing is we have to be, you know, it's more than ever when situation wrong is now it has to be. And and hopefully, 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 because I'm hugely optimistic in my life, hopefully he, they can follow me. Yeah. If Pep were you to lose at Anfield next weekend, that could be an 11 point gap to Liverpool. Would that be too much? Yeah. In the terms of Liverpool is winning, 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 it's true. Yeah. So that would be the title gone already? I don't know. But uh, what I said before, it's not thinking about you're going to win or going to lose. Uh, to think to win the next game. We are not, I think maybe the expectations are so high, but we are not ready in that situation to think what is going to happen at the end of the season. At the end, if we don't win, it's because we don't deserve it. And we won it in the past because we deserve it. So what we have to do is, is is now is fair art. That is the most important thing. First, for the qualification for the Champions League and and step by step, the players, you know, will be better. So the embargo there for 10:30 p.m. on Sunday evening. So 